Okay, blocking. Blocking is one of the most complex tasks in volleyball. So before we get into the footwork and what we're doing with our hands, we want to talk about what we're thinking about, what we're focused on when we're at the net and ready to block. The first thing and the most important thing is to keep our eyes on the setter. We have to start training ourselves to watch the setter at all times. Don't start looking at the hitter, don't start looking at the ball, watch the setter. And when I say that, I mean watch his back from this side of the net. We're going to watch his back if he's dipping certain areas. 90% of the setters are going to show you where they're going to deliver the ball to. And if we, if we learn to really key in on the setter's body mannerisms and his hands, then we can really get a head start in our movements to the players that are going to receive the ball. So once again, really train yourself. I know it's one of those things where you kind of get caught looking at the ball or the, the game's going too fast, but we really have to start doing that now so that later on it becomes automatic. And now I'm, I'm really starting to zoom in on what his thumbs and his fingers are doing. And, like I said, nine out of ten times they're going, to, they're going to telegraph where they're going to deliver the ball. The second thing, once the ball is delivered and we're making moves to our, to our opponent, we don't want to watch the ball, we want to watch our player. Let's first of all recognize where his attack arm is. For example, if he's, if he's an opposite player and I'm, and I'm a position four blocker and he's right-handed, I want to make sure that I line up the middle of my body with his attack shoulder. So if he's on this side and that attack shoulder is say, let's say where that this M is, if I'm attacking from here, when I come over on my block, I want to make sure that the midline of my body is, is in front of that shoulder. What that does, it allows me, allows my outside hand to get outside the ball and prevents that block out of bounds. So that's rule number two, watching that attacker's shoulder and lining up with it. The third thing I want to talk about is the mentality of a blocker. We don't want to really wait for the attackers to hit the ball into our hands. We want to take the mentality of going to attack the ball. I played with a Bulgarian middle blocker in Europe and probably one of the best middle blockers in the world at his time. Of course, he's an older generation middle blockers, but absolutely had excellent hands, excellent timing. And one of the things he told me, which helped me get, it doubled or tripled the amount of blocks that I took in the game was, he told me, Mike, attack the ball when you're blocking. Go in, penetrate, really attack the ball. Don't just go up and try to defend an area. Go up to grab the ball. Go up to take the ball. So let's go over those three points again. Watching the setter, rule number one, keying in on what he's doing. Rule number two, picking up our outside hitter, where, or whichever attacker is coming up, and, and lining up in the middle, the middle of our bodies with that hitting shoulder. And the third is to really go in, going after the ball. Let's go in and get the ball. Let's go in to block the ball, attack the ball.